surfing has always shown itself to have an eco-friendly lifestyle. With so much attention recently being drawn to the harms of plastics, I wanted an honest view from an eco-conscious surfboard shaper. I find myself in Helston, Cornwall at Jackson Surfboards, speaking to Jackson himself about surfboard production. Regarding uh, waste output of my, my, my boards, it's horrendous. Like, I dispose of so much plastic. I'm relatively small scale in terms of manufacture, the amount of boards I produce a year. You know, I'm, you're talking like 50, 60 boards. And I'm, you know, I'm putting out like up to like two tons of waste plastic a year. I'm putting out so much waste and it, it makes a big impact on me. And I'm always looking at different ways I can cut the, cut the waste down of a surfboard. You know, there's buckets, brushes, mixing sticks, masking tape. You know, we get through so much of this making boards. But rarely is it ever sort of made aware that these materials go into the manufacture. EPS is particularly damaging. It's got slightly bigger cells, so EPS is like a, your standard sort of packaging foam you might wash, wrap up a washing machine with. We use a similar kind of stuff for making surfboards. But you know, when that falls apart, granulates, you know, they just wash it into the ocean and fish eat it all sorts. So that's quite common as a waste material for surfboards in, in, in our oceans. The reason why we don't use sustainable alternatives is because they are they're pretty rubbish. We all want a, that, that real sticky board, something we're going to grip too nice. I've experimented a little bit using alternatives like sticking cork as a traction on your board and that works quite nice. It still hasn't got the same traction but you know materials are still developing. When you buy a surfboard you don't just think about you know you've, you've got to really look at what's gone into that board the moment you buy that board, you take responsibility of the plastic. I don't want to sound like I'm finger wagging or anything, but it's, it's quite important that you, you don't just consume and consume and consume. There are certain ways you can look at cutting down uh, the environmental impact of your board. We've looked at using, I mean, wood would be the obvious answer. However, wood comes at a cost, so you've got to uh, make sacrifices in weight, flexibility, which a lot of people don't want. We've looked at using natural fibres in the past, so considering using like hemp's, linens, flax, these are all different sort of environmental natural fibres. The only downside, they typically have hollow fibres, thus they soak up a little bit more resin, thus adding weight. Personally, I don't see a future so much in the sustainable uh, materials. I think you're looking more for advanced composites. You're looking at the processing methods for, for making boards. That could be changed. You know, sustainable isn't necessarily looking at the materials. It's how the impact that's having on the planet. If we can keep materials local, if we can build stuff that's going to last a lot longer, a lot stronger, that's key. A lot of people are making a lot of efforts to, you know, pick up waste. And that's a, you know, good move. Every time you come off the beach, pick up a few bits of uh, litter. But this, it's surfing as a general. The whole ethos is, is nowhere near as sustainable as portrayed, yeah.